It's getting hot in here today, guys, because today we're talking about time and temperature. On last week's episode, we briefly went into how to set macaroons. Setting is the drying out process that allows a matte-like skin or crust to form on the top of the macaroons, which prevents the expanding air from escaping. Basically, you're going to allow your shells to rest for an hour or until the skin forms. I can't really give you guys an exact time. I can just only tell you what to look for because everybody's humidity levels and environmental factors are different for where they live. One of the biggest issues when setting your macaroons that I hear a lot of you are having is humidity. Humidity can be a challenging and frustrating factor because it's hard to control. If humidity levels are way too high, the shells either take forever to dry or they don't dry at all. And you'll notice this is happening because the shells are still shiny and they're tacky. The perfect set shell has no shine to it anymore and it's hard to the touch. If you bake your macaroons before they set, then this is gonna result in cracked macaroon shells and no feet. Some people recommend in order to combat humidity, you can allow your macaroons to set under a vet fan or have a dehumidifier running in the kitchen. Okay, so now onto the part that you guys have all been having difficulty with, baking your French macaroons. So when your French macaroons have set and they're ready to bake, you want to make sure that whether you're using parchment paper or a non-stick silicone baking mat, that you are doubling your sheet pans. This will insulate the bottom of the macaroons, allowing the crispy shell to form first, and it will help create those perfect feet in the sides of the cookies. Doubling your pan also decreases heat from the bottom, so you won't end up with brown shell bottoms. All right, so let's get into the real debate here. Non-stick silicone baking mat, versus parchment paper. Most of you already know how I feel about this one. Non-stick silicone baking mats help to distribute the heat during baking. They also make it much easier to remove the shells after they're finished cooling. Parchment paper. I use the French meringue method, which in my opinion is a wetter batter, and it seems to soak the parchment paper and the macaroons never come out round or properly. If you wanna use parchment paper, just be sure to double your pan and watch your time and temp. Brown Macs aren't cute, and they're a major sign that you're over baking, producing crispier, crunchier shells. Mm -mm. If your macarons stick to the parchment or silicone mat, it simply means that they are underbaked. Either let them go for a few more minutes in your oven or lower the temperature and allow them to go longer. Let them bake for a few more minutes. If you do and they come out brown, that means for the future you're going to have to start baking your macarons at a lower temperature for a longer amount of time. Another reason why the shells might stick to your parchment paper or macaroon mat is that you haven't allowed them to cool long enough. Macaroon shells don't cool in a matter of 15 minutes. Sometimes I let my macaroon shells cool for a matter of hours. I can give you a set time and temperature, but everyone's ovens are calibrated differently. In order to calibrate your oven to find out the true degrees, I would invest in an oven thermometer that you can get off of Amazon. Sometimes if you have your temperature at like 305 degrees, it could actually be 300 degrees or 310 degrees. It could be five degrees over or five degrees under. And those couple of degrees really makes a difference. Learn what to look for, meaning what are your macarons supposed to look like when they're right? And then from there, you can find your sweet spot with time and temperature. Now onto another important discussion about baking your macarons. Confection oven versus conventional oven. I know convection ovens, the ovens with fans, were preferred because of even heat distribution, but leave that to the professionals, please. Turn the fan feature off. Air from the fan can wrinkle the shells or cause them to become lopsided. In order to distribute your heat evenly in a conventional oven, that's the oven with no fans, you can rotate the macarons halfway through, or you can leave them, but be careful because you risk browning one side if the heat isn't distributed evenly. The best baking temperatures I would work with, I would say it's between 275 degrees and 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 150 degrees Celsius. The best baking times you guys should work with is anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes. Well-baked macaroons should slide cleanly off parchment paper or nonstick silicone mat without leaving any residue behind after they are cooled completely. Now we let these little suckers cool and next we fill them. Next week is all about filling, guys. The moment you've been waiting for. <laughs>